In March of 1999, Sony Online unleashed EverQuest on the PC, and the massive multiplayer online role-playing game was born. With the ability to support over 2,000 players per server, EverQuest became an immersive world of dungeons, towers, crypts, and evil abbeys. There, players could customize and build their characters and begin a quest in a massive fantasy world. Since its release, EverQuest has garnered many awards and become a favorite of the online world. The fanbase has grown at a frenzied pace, with players creating their own fantasy character communities, selling and trading imaginary items and spells on online auction sites, and even organizing EverQuest conventions where fans can really get into character. And now, console owners will be able to make the leap into this incredible fantasy realm when EverQuest Online Adventures makes its debut on the PlayStation 2 in spring of 2003. EverQuest Online Adventures was designed to be a virtual world uh, that could be played from your living room on your PlayStation 2. The core design philosophy behind it was that you could get in and out of it and have fun in 20 minutes or less. It's kind of like chess where you can learn it in a few minutes but to really get into it, it can take, you know, years. The goal of the game is to just adventure with others. That's really what the game's all about, is to, to log on, find people that are like you, and to play the game. And the idea is that we, we create a space that really looks and feels and acts like a real world. And all of the people that you meet online could be from anywhere in the world, but you've all come to Norath to play the game. Up for some role playing? Grab your copy of EQOA, throw it in your PlayStation 2 with a memory card, and get online with the network adapter. Then let the creative juices flow. Choose the race of your character. Do you want to be a dwarf or elf, gnome or troll? All the staples of fantasy fiction are there to suit your whimsy. Pick a race, customize and accessorize your creation, and you're ready to hit the cart paths of adventuring. You can play EverQuest Online Adventures in one of two ways, either as an individual or as a team member. Most people do both. Alone is playing around other people. When you go into the city, there are still other human beings who are in there trading or talking to you. It just means that you want to do your own adventure and you don't really want to be bothered with other people. The other way to play is joining up in a group or a guild. This is the way that a lot of people find most rewarding. That way you get together with a group of friends and you go and adventure in a dangerous dungeon, for example, that you could never possibly do it. Playing EQOA requires quite a bit of communication between players online. And with the PlayStation 2, you have options. In order to communicate with other players, you uh, chat using a, a USB keyboard or with a controller using the hot buttons, which are keyed to certain commonly used phrases. But mostly you just type out and you just communicate like how you would in a normal chat room. This new version of EQOA will contain some new wrinkles, especially in time, like about 500 years worth. The existing EQ PC players, uh, they have this rich knowledge base, and to find out what preceded all that is, is very exciting. The reason EverQuest Adventures is set 500 years before the original EverQuest is we wanted to explore what happened to the elves. In EverQuest, in the current time period, the elves had split into two. That Part of the history 500 years before was pretty murky and has always been very interesting to us. So we set adventures at the time of that split. Time also needed to be shifted for the accelerated speed of gameplay on the PlayStation 2. We tried to, to uh, take the EQ experience and translate it for console players. So combat encounters happen a lot more quickly and a lot more frequently. We wanted to make a combat system that was fast, real time, that required some controller skill so that the meat of the gameplay uh, didn't require you to do a whole lot of chatting. And then there's the time saved by playing in one colossal zoneless world. We came up with like eight different, completely different looking types of areas for the game. Then we had to mesh them all together because they all have to transition into one another down to the bottom of the deepest dungeon, you know, to the top of the uh, highest you know, volcano or mountain. You will never experience any kind of a a load, a pause, or you know anything that will interrupt your gameplay. So once you get in the game, you know you're there. There's a lot more different things to do because this world is so vast. We've got a brand new quest system in Adventures, which allows us to fork and have many, many more quests than we did in the original EverQuest PC. 
Even if you have the time to discover all there is to know about EQOA, you'll need more of it because this world will be constantly evolving. One of the ways we keep the game fresh and interesting for players is we just add content all the time. More and more things to do, more and more skills, more and more adventures, uh, more and more creatures, which we roll out every month that's part of your subscription package. It's almost like getting a sequel to a game every month. Obviously, you can spend a lot of time playing EQOA, and you'll run into a ton of people. But what will you have to show for it? EverQuest is all about the players. They really are the ones who have created EverQuest. They're really the ones who drive the world and make it fun. It's basically a social interaction. The exploration and excitement of these games is, is you know, out, outpaced by the friends that you make. It's just like playing like a pickup game of basketball. I mean, you find, you go out with your friends, you fight monsters. It's really pretty cool. People get together and like to work together, and they form very close-knit friendships. Sometimes it groups up to 200. It's, it really does become a little living, breathing society. And it's so much fun to see the, this little world develop and people just having fun and communicating with each other inside and outside the game.